Um, they have a little setup behind Robert's house called their little practice room. It's very nicely done for a practice room. <laughs> we practice it in the most bodacious, succulent, <laughs> masculine room ever to be constructed by the hands of men. That infested spider hole. <laughs> 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 we constantly live in fear. I like how there's a lot of energy on the stage. Playing out a lot of nice songs. Everybody's got really good parts in all the songs. Favorite song is Pretty Song. It's my song. <laughs> Our band is called the Fantastic Fiends. Well, we used to be in a cover band and we played parties in the area and we were called No Leroy No. Like, Leroy Jenkins! Anywho, <laughs> we, were, we were in debates of a new name and we were possibly thinking about becoming Maxwell Jenkins and the Fantastic Fiends just because there wasn't anyone named Maxwell Jenkins, but he still was in the heart. In the heart, that's where it counts. I play the bass. <laughs> the Strokes. People like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Rage Against the Machine, you know, just driving bands that have that offer something different in the rock genre. Of our wonderful family and bands, <laughs> our music <laughs> does not have a genre, nor does it need one to describe what it is. It's just there. It's fantastic music. Not really. What makes me want to play music? Uh, I love playing bass, and the musicians that I play with, we've pretty much grown up to play our instruments together and become such a good team in doing so that our potential would be wasted if we didn't continue performing playing music uh, we want people to enjoy our music we're making a product out there for people to listen to and you know be attracted to it because it's something original and different that I feel like that's something that people are gonna turn their heads to and acknowledge I'd say towards the summer of towards the end of it the summer area we just started hanging out in Robert's bedroom where he had all of his equipment, big ass speakers and drum kit in a moderately large room but taking him quite a lot of space just practicing songs like Steady As She Goes and you know Jack White pieces that would be another influence of ours I'd say that he has a heavy saturated influence in our work would be Jack White. Our first show as the Fantastic Fiends I would say we were probably playing at Evolution Records in downtown Lakeland. I'm drummer and lead singer, and Ryan is bass player and lead singer, and Nick plays guitar. But Nick and I switch off sometimes, so I'll play guitar and Nick will play drums. And I write most of the songs, and I write a lot of the guitar parts too. <clears throat> My dad. He's helped us out because he has a truck and we use that all the time to go to shows and stuff. Nick got me into playing music more and I, well he was a guitar player so I was like well I'm going to quit guitar and I'll go to drums because I can do that too. My goals, I would love to be famous, like a famous rock band like Queen or The Who, any old rock band that could sell out stadiums like that would be amazing. That's my goal. To go on tour, to play a festival, that's realistic goal. That would be like icing on the cake. But we all started playing in my room where I had all this equipment. I had a drum kit, speakers on top of speakers, with guitars piled everywhere, and microphones, and just chords everywhere. There's a bunch of equipment and my bed. I think it was at Lake Gibson High School and it was a battle of the bands. And none of us went to Lake Gibson High School. We all went to Tenorock High School. And that was like way out 
this brand new school that everybody had to go to now. I would have went to Lake Gibson High School, so I could have been in it. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so we went to the Battle of the Bands there because we were asked to go. And we were the only band there, so we automatically won. So the first, our first show was a Battle of the Bands, and we won. That's the short, that's the good story. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Fantastic Fiends are Robert Van Nilsen, my brother Ryan Brown, and Nick Garcia. Nick's family is always, like, carting around people, bringing crowds, um, everyone with equipment, everyone helps out. They play a mix of just what they feel like playing. A lot of, it's all rock, but with mixes of, like, punk and just indie alternative, just good stuff. Me, I help them a lot. Um, and then all their friends, uh, Nick Baker comes to mind. Uh, I can't think of all the other names, but all the, all the friends always come out and help load. Well, I try to drive them back and forth as much as possible. I let them use my truck. I loan them my equipment, my guitars, my uh, guitar stands, guitars, everything I can, everything I possibly have, I, I, I give them. I call it uh, Go Fast Top Down Music. We want woo. Why? It's just it's rocks. I like it. It's instrumental. It's it's a lot of fun. House party would probably be a, their first show, but uh, first real show, I think was uh, it was either Evolution Records or the venue downtown Bartow. No, at my house in the garage, in the back building as we call it. <sighs> my name's Nick Garcia, and I'm the guitarist for the Fantastic Feeds. People who have influenced me have been maybe like Slash or Eddie Van Halen that got me started playing guitar and inspirations to be in a band anyways, even though I completely sucked at playing guitar. And then there was, you know, seeing shows live and seeing crowd response and how big bands are and how big they can get and like just how much the fans love them. I just want to like make things for people to love. We're saying we, we we're haven't the, done that the, much porn before, we're the, so we're the, <laughs> we're the band across the street from the Fantastic Fiends. There's Robert, who lives across the street from us, over there, and uh, some other people. Rocky, uh, punk, punk rock. It's definitely punk, pop punk. Pop punk rock. Punk. No, I'm not going with pop, pop punk. It's more like punk. <laughs> I go with punk. Punk rock. Bluegrass metal. <laughs> For sure. Considerably be better. Hillbilly brown grass. <laughs> we've loaned you some equipment and given you some stuff. I feel like we've helped in our own way. I well, when I first heard you guys play, I saw some potential. And I know that you, at the time, didn't have any uh, PA system or speakers. So I helped what I could and as a result we've gotten really good. Yeah, for a you have come a long way. Yeah, <laughs> when you guys separated for a little while it's like wow that was short. But when you came back together you were a little tighter than you was before. <laughs> I mean you've had several yeah, two she guitar that. players and I want that on the record. Yeah. And you all the fantastic beans. Good night.